All the way from 1984, it's Cubert Cubes on the ColecoVision, a sequel to the arcade hit Cubert. But unlike the original, where you're just landing on blocks, turning them all the same color while dodging enemies, in Cubert Cubes, you're rotating the blocks in a three-dimensional space, lining them up in a tic-tac-toe fashion to score points while also dodging enemies. It's like Cubert with an additional element of thinking. Ouch. Alright, you see what I did there? It's pretty simple in the beginning, and had I been more ambitious, I could have hopped around and turned a few of the other ones for some additional points. And like the original Cubert, it holds your hand for the first level or two and then sends you screaming off into traffic on your own. Because the game becomes infinitely more challenging as it slowly turns into a giant Rubik's Cube of death. Yes, my thoughts exactly, Cubert. I agree. Now, I find this game much harder than the original Cubert, but equally fun. Fortunately, you are equipped with one very powerful offensive tool which you can use against the enemy. If you wait until just the last moment before you hop off of your block, right before that purple thing attacks you, he'll fall through the block into empty space, dying a horrible, horrible death, where he is slowly digested over a period of 1,002 years. And then, of course, there's that green jackass rotating your blocks against you after you've already rotated them. Which is like three times more irritating than the original game when they just turn them a single color. Because then you just land on them, but in this game you actually have to think about what direction to rotate them. And the thinking hurts. It's like knocking cobwebs out of my brain. But it's a good pain. In an era when the majority of games are made as easy as possible just to get people playing them, it's refreshing to see a game that can literally kick your ass and then do tequila shots with Robotron 2084 afterwards. I'll jump ahead a few levels here. I'm not even playing on one of the harder difficulty settings. Like many ColecoVision games, there's four difficulty levels. I'm playing on number two out of four. Terrific. I even managed to outsmart myself, which uh, frequently is not that hard. It's like occasionally while playing this one at the harder levels, I had to pretend I was holding the block in my hand and try to rotate it into position while forgetting that Cubert was actually dodging enemies or could possibly jump off the side of the board. It's tricky because if, the, if in the original Cubert you were doing two different things at once, in this game you're doing three things at once. And I have a shout out to deliver to Joel from Calgary, Canada. Home of the Calgary Flames! Thank you for the donation, Joel. I've enjoyed this one. It's actually been a while since I've reviewed a ColecoVision game, which is a shame, because I love the ColecoVision. As you can see on screen, the production value of Cubert Cubes is near arcade quality. The sound effects are terrific. The controls work like the original Cubert on ColecoVision, and it does play well with the standard ColecoVision controller, because you're not using the buttons, which pretty much suck on that controller. There we go. As the game progresses, you also have to line up more than just one line of cubes. And if you take a lot of time rotating them into position like I'm doing, then odds are that green thing will come along and totally wreck your game. So you've got to work quickly, and it's it's really very tricky and a lot of fun. Extremely well-made game. I'm, I'm surprised I've really never heard of this one. I like the original Cubert, and I do recommend Cubert Cubes for fans of old-school arcade games. There's a version of this that's also on Atari 2600. It was originally an arcade machine. But if you're collecting for consoles and have a ColecoVision, this one is awesome. Cubert Cubes. And Cubes is spelled incorrectly with a Q-U-B-E-S. Boy, no wonder this game never caught on. Back in 84, when people were Googling for it, they probably were spelling Cubes wrong. Wait, no, that, no, that didn't happen. Actually, to further complicate searching, this game is, is technically called Q Star Bert apostrophe S Cubes. <laughs> Q Bert's Cubes. Man, they would have really simplified this today. It would have just been called like QBQ and then give you achievement points just for turning it on. 